Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 1780 election in 2020. So we got George Washington with his uh, running mate, John Hancock under the Independent Party, John Adams with his uh, running mate, Rufus King under the Federalist Party, and Democratic Republican George Clinton with Edward Telfair as his running mate. Now, this is going to be easy as shit. So... Okay, so where do we start? Let's start off here. So obviously the Democratic Republican is going to have a sweep. Uh, actually, not sweep, but Washington might, is going to win the state of Washington. Kind of uh, makes sense. Adams King will win the state of Nevada. Uh, the Democratic Republican Party will most likely win the states of Alaska and Hawaii. Now these are going to be, I feel like these will be states who really needed the Constitution or a Bill of Rights, especially in these southern states. So let's... uh. Let's flip these southern states down here. Actually, Washington and Hancock will most likely win the states of... Well, actually, not West Virginia. Let's just uh, put that down. Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, New York, New Hampshire. We're not going to touch Maine yet. Massachusetts, uh, Rhode Island. We're not going to touch D.C. as of yet. And we might as well not touch, you know, the... Also, now we're going to touch these other states. The uh, Rust Belt, Washington is obviously going to win the entirety of the Rust Belt. I just don't see anyone else winning it. Also, I don't, and I also see him winning the state of Florida, Tennessee, Kentucky as well. Missouri, West Virginia, Indiana, uh, Vermont will most likely go to the Federalist Column, especially the 2nd District of Maine. Uh, the 2nd District of Nebraska and Maine at large, and the 1st District of Maine will go to Telfair or, or George Clinton. Uh, I can just see Washington winning the rest of uh, Nebraska, Nebraska at large, and this 1st and 3rd Districts. Colorado, Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, definitely those states up in there, especially the Mormon area. Very independent, I feel like. Washington's already won this election. North Dakota, South Dakota, and Kansas will also go to... Washington. Now we have two more states. I believe George Clinton and Edward Telfair, since they are liberals, the Democratic Republican Party is pretty much a liberal party. They will most likely win the state of D.C. Massachusetts will most likely go to John Adams. So here is your map with John Adams with 21 electoral votes, George Clinton with 166 electoral votes, and George Washington with 351 electoral votes. Now, I hope y'all enjoyed. This is the Catechon saying, peace.